All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another great video. And in the past few video videos, I've been discussing some of my favorite books, and today I'm going to discuss another one. And I'm referring to David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. Now, a lot of people think that Charles Dickens' best work was A Tale of Two Cities, and to be sure, that was a pretty good book especially in considering that it's a book about the French Revolution, and I did enjoy that a lot. But my favorite is David Copperfield. And in my opinion, Charles Dickens is at the height of his creativity with this. It's such an amazing book because the book is about someone 100% unremarkable. Who is David Copperfield? He's really nobody. He's just an average, ordinary man, and the very start of the book is, I am born, right? And you go through the life of this man as he goes to school, as he learns how to just get by in life, and it's very simple, it's ordinary, hardly anything happens to him. I mean, nothing that you would consider extraordinary, right? He doesn't go on any adventures, he doesn't, you know, accomplish amazing things, he just lives a very average life. And at the very end, of course, I, spoiler alert, he dies, having just lived an average life. And to him, he lived a very happy life. But what makes it so remarkable is Charles Dickens' use of language is so good, it just it wraps you up and you enjoy the whole book. You really feel and you see everything David Copperfield is going through. It is and again, it's also from a historical note, it's a snapshot of the real Victorian England, not the one that has been overly romanticized. Charles Dickens was always a very truth writer, always giving us the accurate, accurate portrait. But again, he's just at the height of his power here. It is just a book you can read over and over and get all kinds of different things out. I thoroughly enjoyed every page, and I can say without question, this is Charles Dickens' best work. Although I do think you should also read A Tale of Two Cities. But again, David Copperfield is best work in one of my absolute favorite books. Have you read the book? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below and do not forget to like and subscribe.